Those are technically Southern places as well. Chuck Brown went to jail for shooting someone. Chuck Brown was down Lawton for manslaughter. He learned how to play the guitar down Lawton. Was Gogo not born in Lawton? By a brother from North Carolina. <clears throat> you know ain't no cat fetching no vacation, bro. You ain't got a first class ticket in your uh in your video, Joe. But bro, from War Six, you a registered voter? You know Troy from up KDY? Nah, I don't think I do. Someone made a fake page on me. They do that all the time. 17, what that mean? I forgot what I asked you. 17. What did I ask one love Mari? 17, what about 17? I forgot what I asked you already. DC is the last city in the South. No, Maryland is under the Mason-Dixon line as well, bro. Maryland technically is a Southern state. You don't get to the Mason-Dixon line. The Mason-Dixon line runs through Pennsylvania. And that's based on the people who, uh, I don't feel like giving you the whole Mason-Dixon history. These are some people that was astrologers or something. They was looking for something and they spotted something in the star. And they, they, defined, they defined that line. But since they defined that line, I'm just saying the D.C. is below the Mason-Dixon line. Google the Mason-Dixon line. Nah, I ain't messing with that right now. I'm talking about Charles Allen. I ain't going to get on here and say something. I add that on All Smoke D.C. But right now, I was trying to find War 6 voters, and then I got into a conversation with my homie to say, KDY Big Chris. I'm going I'm to I'm deal with you in a second on the L page, uh, Bob and son. Breath from War 6, are you a registered voter, though? He acknowledged it as DC's own soul, but the rest is history. Chuck Brown, one of ours. I'm not trying to just, bruh, I ain't, I ain't, that's not what I'm doing. So, yeah, I agree. Chuck Brown, one of ours. Marin Burr is one of ours. Shit, Fat Trail, one of ours. Do you know CO? Did you, do you know CO? I, I ain't, I don't understand. Am I a registered voter? Yeah, are you a registered voter? That's what I'm asking. You said you was from War 6 because I want you to vote for Charles Allen. Do you know Charles Allen? I can tell you why I would like for you to vote for Charles Allen. He said what? Hold on, let me see something. The Mason-Dixon line is at Gettysburg. Okay, so parts of Pennsylvania is in the South, according to that theory. You sent out of town. You sent out of town. You just left your town. I I got you. I got you, Robinson. Anyway, I got you. E. I'm gonna vote for him. Go to the All Smoke DC page and add that. All right. Let me see ten Charles Allen's. I'm gonna go over there and add. If y'all want me to add that. I'm going to cuss Ann out on the All Smoke DC page, but I need to see 10 people drop Charles Allen's name and I'm gone. And even if you just want me to shut up, just drop Charles Allen, Charles Allen, Charles Allen, War 6, Charles Allen, War 6 right now, Brick Squad, Charles Allen, War 6, Charles Allen, War 6. What that mean? We ain't nothing? What that mean? We ain't nothing, bro. We ain't, bro huh? Uh, okay, let me see. Oh, we ain't voting. Okay, I get it now. I was lost. Charles Allen, bro. Charles Allen, Charles Allen. Young penitentiary nigga, I fed out the feds for years. I'm 29 years old. Oh, heads be smart as fuck. Charles Allen, Charles Allen, Charles Allen. Charles Allen, War 6. I see it one time. Charles Allen, War 6. Salam alaikum. Huh? Yeah, but I ain't got my glasses on. Fuck, it's Charles Allen. Charles. That's cool. That's another Charles Allen. She said, put your glasses on. Low ass words. Okay, boom. All in my business, man. What what is it? 
but Pinto is running. He said, no, 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 that's not necessarily true, but she got a whole lot of saving that beer. Charles out of War 6, I think that's like four or five times I've seen it. Wow, it's uh, War 6, okay, Charles Allen, you with Charles Allen, War 6? We got War 6 in here? War 6, tag somebody from War 6. Who even know where War 6 is? Search some quarters downtown. Who you talking about? You talking to somebody to tell them where that at? I don't know nothing about him. He better be on some shit. We trust in you. I'm telling you, I want to vote for Charles Allen and I want to support Charles Allen because of the Incarceration Reduction Act. I don't know why anybody else is supporting for any other reason. You know, you're going to have to do that if you want me to look it up. November election. If you want me to look it up, I will. But I just gave you all the reasons why I want to support him. He supported all the people like me and got all the people like me a second chance. I don't care about the rest. I'm really not into politics. I'm into policy. <laughs> You feel me? I ain't really into politics. I think they said Columbia Heights. What's Columbia Heights, Muslim poppin'? Oh, damn, even you know that, huh, Golden? I don't really want to get into that conversation. That conversation gonna separate the young from the old. What you saying about the target, Muslim pop? Where War Six is? No, that's not War Six. War Six is like the central, the central part of the city. I can show you a map. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you what War Six is. Let me show you on the map for anybody who don't know. This is War 6, y'all. And even though you might not see it, I'm going to show you a bigger map, okay? This War 6. What about 1430? You from 1430? 1,000, okay, 1,000 in this bit. Fifth and no, oh, y'all, y'all guessing, I get it. This war six right here, y'all. And I know you don't understand what that is, but you know this the bottom of the city right here. You know this is parts of Northwestern Shaw. Oh, this is uh, 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 different parts of Northeast. That's war six, y'all. Here you go, right here. It's war six. You see war eight, you see war seven, you see war five, war four, war three. There's only eight wards in the whole city. You see where war six at? That's war six. If you don't know, you learned that tonight, okay? That's war six. War six right there. Those are the wars of D.C. Okay? You got it? Those are the wars of D.C. Charles Allen is War 6. Cool? Somebody said War 4 the best war. I love War 4 the best. I can't lie. <laughs> yeah, shout out to New Orleans. Mr. DC Black. See, I'm on DC Black's time right now. War 6, that's what we talking about. People that say I'm from the DMV ain't know that. That fall out real DC people. Okay. Them the wars of DC. They ain't got War 9 in there, but everybody know PG County is War 9. Everybody says there's only eight wards in D.C. It's nine wards. PG County is Ward 9. If you from Suitland, you from Landover, you from Oxon Hill, you from Ward 9, man. 
what war is what? That's war eight. That's the real Southeast. No disrespect to Southeast, but that's the Southeast. War eight is Southeast. It's Southeast. S O U F. That's 18th Street, 8th Street, RFK. Yeah, all that's included. You know that, big homie. War 4. Charlene Drew Jarvis. Do anybody know who Charlene Drew Jarvis is? Who know who Charlene Drew Jarvis is? Charlene Drew Jarvis is the daughter of Charles Drew, the black man that invented or has something to do with the invention or culture or, 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 or perfection of blood plasma. And he died in a car accident. He fell asleep at the wheel because he was working so hard to create blood plasma. And blood plasma, blood plasma was used in transfusions, which began to save people's lives. Charles Drew, Charlene Drew Jarvis. Man, I'm a historian. I know everything about D.C. I ain't look nothing up. That shit came out the brain. Barbara's son can't do that. You talking about Harriet Tubman and uh, 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 Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass was a slave to learn how to write. Frederick Douglass was a slave. You should never play with Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass is a slave to learn how to write. Frederick Douglass beat a slave master to a no count. He... They sent, Frederick, they sent Frederick Douglass to a slave breaker, one of the vicious, most vicious slave breakers in the state of Maryland. Frederick Douglass beat his ass. Look it up. Frederick Douglass beat his ass. Frederick Douglass ain't no soft nigga. Frederick Douglass was sent to a place that was the worst, the most meanest, the most treacherous slave breaking camp in the state of Maryland, and he beat his ass. He beat his ass so much, they said, man, leave that nigga alone. So they can sit over there and joke and play about Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass smacked the shit out of one of them niggas. The daughter of Charles Drew. I just said all that off the top of the head. I did. I won a black history contest about uh, Charles Drew when I was a kid. I've been doing this, man. This ain't new. I'm a nerd. Salam alaikum. Talk your shit, OG. Nah, uh-uh. I got to dumb it down or they don't like it. It's going to be dry. But War 6, vote for Charles Allen. If you ain't hearing me say nothing tonight, you heard me say vote for Charles Allen. Joe Green. Shout out to Joe Green, man. Real nigga. Just had a birthday, man. We waiting for you, Joe. Shout out to Wellington. Shout out to DL. Yeah, well, you can tell by my bush, I ain't playing neither, man. Shout out to Frederick Douglass. They keep on making a joke about Frederick Douglass. They making a joke about Harriet Tubman. None of them niggas would do what Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman told her, Harriet Tubman used a total sawed-off shotgun and a 38. You know what Harriet Tubman say about snitches and rats? A dead nigga tells no tales. That come from Harriet Tubman. That gangster shit come from Harriet Tubman. Do you think Harriet Tubman was some little old lady that freed thousands of slaves and she was playing? Stop playing with her and tell me name, bruh. Wow, Lake Salam, you know what you know. Stop playing with her and tell me name. Y'all couldn't curry her and tell me jockstrap. They're going to start saying that next. Watch. They're going to start saying that old school. Man, you can't curry my jockstrap. That's old school. You couldn't curry her and tell me jockstrap. Stop playing with her and tell me name. They already playing about Harriet Tubman and uh, Frederick Douglass. Those are iconic black people. You might as well play with Nat Turner next. If you know who Nat Turner is. Don't make ignorance cool. You're supposed to know who was like that that came before you. I know everybody was like that. Gangster, civil rights leader, Shaka Zulu. Hannibal, they led elephants across the Alps and kicked the Italians' ass for 14 years, invaded Spain. Why you think those people got dark light skin? 
because Hannibal went over there and impregnated all them women. Changed their whole complexion. Why you think Italians got olive oil skin? That ain't come from the Caucasus Mountains. That came from the motherland. You want me to talk? I'll talk this shit. Hannibal Barker, somebody know? Somebody know Hannibal Barker, check him out. He led elephants across the Alps. Can't nobody do that today. Baddest general in history. They keep wanting to make us be thinking about Genghis Khan and all. Shout out to them. Hannibal Baca. Baddest African general that ever lived. <laughs> That's the yeah, yeah, I used to hear that too. Hannibal Baca of Cothridge. That's right, Slim. You know what you know. I ain't even gonna debate with you. You know what you know. About time I get an intellect. We need to go live, man. Cut your camera off. Nah, you know what you know. You might know more than me, and you older than me. You older than me. I could do that. I could do it with you. Let's go. Let's go. What about Snap? Huh? What about that? What about how Mary Burry got Larry Pringle out of Lawton and got him to fight professional, left Lawton and came to the convention center and beat somebody ass and took his money back to Lawton? Come on, let's talk D.C. history. Come on, let's go. Shout out to Larry Pringle. Shout out to Potomac Gardens. Hmm. I could talk. I could talk that talk too. I could talk that talk. What else? What else you want me to talk about? What topic you want me to talk about? Yeah, let's go. You the one got me on that tip. Let's go. KDY. Let's go. I can do that. I could do that all night. Okay. To the Henry Lord Man James uptown. Henry Lord Man James ain't from uptown. He's from North East. He used to be all over town, though. But see, you going back to the streets. I thought we was on some elevated shit. Only reason I ain't cut it off because I thought we was on some elevated shit. I ain't trying to go back to the streets right now. I'm trying to talk about War 6, Charles Allen, the Iron Law, all the homies that came home and made positive impacts. I named some of them earlier. I ain't going to keep saying their names. They probably don't want their names even mentioned over here right now. I'm sleeping in the baby up. Oh, no. When you can't sleep. You gone, KDY? Come on, man. Don't nobody else even know who Hannibal Barker is. Barber's going to be over there talking about him in a minute. Watch. He going to talk about Barber. Uh, he going to talk about Hannibal Barker. What else I talk about tonight? I said, uh, what I just said, what word I just said? Damn, I just said a word. I said, damn, they gonna say that word next. Whatever it is, when I hear it, I'm gonna say, I said it. He said, should I be writing this shit down? If it, I mean, if it, if it, if, you know, if it fit, you know, if it should fit with it. Let's go. Let's go to the Howard University level. All right, let's go. You, you kick it off. Jump out there, ask me something. Do you know Howard University? Do you know the man that, uh, do you know the man, do you know Oh Howard is a white man? Who know that? Do you know Howard is named after a white man? How many of y'all know that? How do you, how many of y'all know that the same man, O. Howard, who was in control of the money from the Freedmen's League, which was in Alexandria, Virginia, a lot of free slaves went there, also, Purchased the land and leased the land out to black people, which later became Burry Farms. Otis Oliver Howard, I believe his name is. He was a he was a he was some type of person in the military. But Howard University is named after him. 
do you know that General Albert Otis Howard was an abolitionist? I didn't know that Otis Howard I, I didn't know that Otis Howard was an abolitionist. I didn't know that. I'm gonna give you that one. But I know that Howard is named after him. And I know the first two graduates of Howard University were white women and they were his daughters. Did you know that? Oliver Otis Howard was the general of the United States Army that Abraham Lincoln appointed to execute the Freedmen's Bureau Act of 18 of April 15, 1865. I said that shit off the top of my head, bro. I ain't even 50 years old. Hey, shout out to you. You know what you're talking about. I said everything you said, though. I said he I said he was in control of the money from the Freedmen's League. I said he was a general in the army. I said he was a white man. And I said that his daughters was the first graduates of Howard University. Howard. And he the one that got the land from Burry Farms. And he leased it to black people. Shawty can't talk about that. Come on, bro. You know how many books I read in 17 years? You know how many years I spent in sales where I can only come out one hour a day? I read almost every book that they came through the prison, bro. I read Chinese Culture, Chinese Arithmetic, Genghis Khan, Hannibal Barker, Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's why you think I was beefing with the dude with the trash can on his head. Because everything he know, I know. Who attended that college? Yeah, I mean, College G. E. Wilson said the best education a Negro can give itself is the education he gives itself. I got ninth grade education. I read all this shit in jail. The son of who? Outside linebacker. Oh, yeah, I played middle linebacker. Muslim Papa, what you want? What you want? Shout out to Montgomery County. You know, they had the, one of the most, I ain't gonna say richest, but they do say wealthiest black communities ever. They got a, they got a, they got a cemetery out there right now that they protesting to not be demolished or removed. Hannibal between 183 and 181. Okay, okay, day day. BC was a Carthaginian general and statesman who commanded the forces of the Carthage of Carthage and their battle against the Roman Republic during the Second Punic War. That's a fact. They got a they got a documentary on Hannibal, man. Yeah, they was playing with Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman told her the pistol and a sawed off shotgun. Harriet Tubman wasn't no joke. They keep on uh trying to beautify her. Harriet Tubman was a gangster, bro. Why you think it ain't no pictures of her smiling? Wasn't in the smile about. Niggas don't know their history, bro. Well, Montgomery County is the home of Uncle Tom's cabin. Old Georgetown Road. Georgetown used to be a part of Montgomery County. Niggas don't know that either. 
Georgetown existed along with the state of Wash, the city of Washington. Before the whole district was drawn up the way it was, Georgetown had what's called autonomy. It had its own municipal powers. That means it made its own laws. Technically, it was two cities in the district at one time. Now Georgetown is just a section of D.C. Come on, bro. You know what you know, Day Day. But now we ain't, this ain't just black history, this is D.C. history. It's a book called Chocolate City. Man, it's on about 1,500 pages long. I read that book. Check that book out. Now I talk about the color wars on how we went. Plantation to plantation to kill slave masters and free. I said, what? You talking about Nat Turner? Who you talking about? I don't know who Gullah is. You you might be teaching me some. Georgetown was founded in 1615 as a British colony. Second to Jamestown. I didn't know that. On the James River that was founded in 1611. I do know that. I read the 1619 uh, collection. But you write about the Jamestown part. I ain't know about the other uh, Georgetown part. 1615. But that sound right. That sound right. I ain't going. I ain't going to dispute you. Fernando, salamu alaikum, rockin' to a lot with Barakatu. What's up, I? Good brother right there made some of the best food in the penitentiary. For real. I mean, you think, you think, you think oohs and ahs get busy? <laughs> Fernando get busy. Georgetown, Jamestown, and Old Town, Alexandria were founded as English slave ports before America got its independence. That's a fact. One of the biggest slave trading firms, which is the actual term for it, was in Alexandria, Virginia. Somewhere in Old Town. I'll find it later, but ain't nobody gonna be interested. I don't think I read all of them. You know, there's a bunch of translations of Out of War. I got like three copies in here. And I got a copy on my phone. You can't be a nigga like me and then read the Out of War. You got to be thinking. Why you think I outthink these niggas? Why you think I run circles around? Why you think I got gray hair? You don't get gray hair and you just a goofy nigga. You don't live long enough. No, actually it was Richmond, VA. I ain't sure what that means. Chesapeake, the Chesapeake, Ohio Canal was set up at the port of Georgetown to move the slaves through the interior of the United States into Ohio. Yeah, that's the CNO Canal. You write about that. And then they stopped the development later. Funeral fam, what's up? Shout out to you. Shout out to Kills. Yeah, he write about that CNO Canal joint. If you go to the CNO Canal, it signs all up and down George Washington Highway or Parkway. They tell you the history of the CNO Canal. If you go to Georgetown down by Sequoias, they got map, they got they got plaques down there that explain it as well. That was the port. Like people say now, they going to uh, the harbor, the National Harbor in PG now, but the harbor was supposed to be in Georgetown. Yeah, I know about the black populations. I was just talking about them. It's in that book, Chocolate City. Sequoia was a slave port. That's a fact. I just said that. S slaves were sold right there where Sequoia's at. That whole little thing that they got looking all pretty right now, it was filled with tens and tens and tens of slaves at one point in time, maybe hundreds. Yeah, the Georgetown Harbor, that's a fact. The CNO Canal is right there. You could walk straight up the steps and be at the CNO Canal. Did you know that football huddle stopped from a guy you dead? Nah, I ain't know that. The Gullah Wars is when the black slaves clicked up. 
and went to each plantation killing slave masters. We beat Andrew Jackson. So what state did that happen in Tennessee somewhere? If they beat up Andrew Jackson, I don't know that history right there. You hearing me so I'm gonna have to look that up. Nah. I don't even know who Gullah is. Like I hate to sound ignorant, but I'm not hip to the Gullah Wars. I don't know everything. That ain't happened in DC though, but I'm still interested. You know, they say the lag gonna cut off in two minutes. That's me, though. I'm out of here. Hey, KDY. Salute, bro. You know what you know. You ain't say nothing wrong that I know of. And you told me one or two things. Yeah, that was doing the Nat Turner slave insurrection. I thought that's what he was talking about. I wasn't sure, but I still never heard nobody say Gullah Wars. I got to look that term up. I know all about all them places that on that turn did this thing, and I know about the Jones that followed it. I know about uh, John Brown, the white abolitionist. I know, I know that story. John Brown died about that shit. A white man died about that shit. Same reason why I told you when you said that Charles Allen is a white man. John Brown was a white man. John Brown was a white man. The Gullah Wars. I'm going to look it up if I'm saying it right. Was in South Carolina and Tennessee. Alright, 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 I got it. Why they should not rock to a lot. It happened down south, the Gullah Wars. It was basically a tribe of black people down south. Shout out to the South. The Mexicans gave us ammo and taught us war tactics on how to beat the white man at war. I'm about to look that shit up. John Brown, the abolitionist, was a white man. Facts. I'm about to look this Gullah Wars shit up. That's my type of shit. I might go to bed off that one. The Gullah Wars, all right. Man, free the real. If you're from War 6, vote for Charles Allen. If you're not from War 6 and you know somebody in War 6, encourage them to vote for Charles Allen. Bro, stop, stop, stop hating on Charles Allen, Katie Watt. John Brown was an abolitionist. Like a general, Oliver Otis Howard, but John Brown.